bill of material or bill of quantity this is the bill of material or bill of quantity basically you have two columns here one of the column gives the description of the item these two and this column gives the description of the item and this column gives the quantity basically the bill of quantity means you have to make a bill of quantity bill of item you can have to make a bill of the items that is you have to mention all the items used for earthing inside a plant and against each item you have to give the quantity so the this uh, is prepared by the engineering team and given to the procurement team the procurement team will use this bill of quantity or bill of material to order the different materials from the vendors now in this example which we explained previously the main uh, the conductor used inside the electrical room or the outdoor electrical area was 50 by 10 gi flat two runs so that was 100 meters and the conductor used inside the main plant area was 40 by 6 gi flat so that was 1800 meters or a thing of tanks vessels went 40 by 6 gi flat was used 50 meters for connecting this 40 by 6 gi flat with the tank vessel and went welding was used motor pump the connectors were welding normally welding is not required so i will explain about an alternative later for lighting poles 10 mm od galvanized iron wire was used for jb 10 mm od galvanized iron wire was used for pipe rack cutting 20 by 5 gi wire was used now this is the option where we use only iron conductors then there is one more option of using only copper insulated conductors we do not prefer copper in the main plant area because of cathodic protection but some owners do use So inside the plant area, 300 mm square copper was used. Inside the main plant area, 180 mm square copper was used. Tank vessel went up to one single core, 70 mm square copper was used. Motor and pump, single core, 70 mm square copper. And for connecting, we used lux, thin coated. And for lighting pole, single core 16 mm square cable was used. For JB also, single core 16 mm square cable. For pipe track, 25 mm square cable was used. Now there is one more option. The other option is to use iron at few places below the earth and use copper insulated conductor above the earth. This option is better because Let us use 50 by 10 gi flat. Same two runs. Let us use uh, 40 by 6 gi flat for equipment or thing. Let us use copper because there will be no termination problem. Otherwise, if we use this flat, we will have difficulty in terminating. So. So we have three options: either use only iron, use only copper, or use iron and copper. Yes, when we use iron and copper, there can be corrosion due to galvanic uh, flow. But but still, let us use some extra provision for the material and go for it. 